I'm Allison Betzoff Warner. I'm the director of the Melanoma Program and the director of the Solid Tumor Cell Therapy Program at Stanford. So TIL therapy is a new type of immunotherapy. So lots of people have heard of immunotherapy and immunotherapy means lots of things. But the general idea is to use the immune system to treat cancer. Typically, we think of immunotherapy as antibodies that we can give to a patient that activates an immune response. And in fact, for melanoma, that is the first line treatment for almost all of our patients. Unfortunately, many of our patients, more than half of our patients, won't respond to that treatment and will ultimately need another line of therapy. So TIL comes at this a different way. So when we give antibody immunotherapy, the goal is to activate all of the immune cells and hope that some of them get to the tumor and work against the tumor. TILs, when that doesn't work, we come at this and we say, okay, if we take out a piece of a patient's tumor, we will find immune cells or TILs, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, in that tumor. So let's go after those, expand them into the billions, and then we prepare a patient with some chemotherapy to get rid of any cells that would compete with those TILs, give back the TILs, and then we give a medicine that's called high dose IL-2 that helps to stimulate those TILs and helps to, them to expand in the body. Currently, TIL therapy has a success rate of about 31% in patients that have progressed on immunotherapy. In earlier stage patients, that may be as high as 50%, but it's still not good enough, especially for a therapy that is as tough as this is for patients to go through. Um, we know that we need to do better. Now that we have this as an option for patients, we are trying to learn from every single patient that we treat. So we are taking pieces of the tumor that go towards making the tills, comparing that to the tills that go back into a patient, and then taking biopsies from those patients' tumors, blood, any other part of the body that the patient may have cancer involvement in and trying to learn what are the characteristics of those tumors either before we make the TILs or of responding tumors that makes it more likely for someone to respond. First and foremost, that helps us pick the right patient. We don't wanna put patients through this if they don't have a chance that it's going to work for them. But second of all, what we are really looking for in my lab are what are the characteristics of these tumors or the tills that go back into a patient that correlates with patients who do well long term. And then can we enhance that to make tills work better, make them work for patients who wouldn't respond to the current product. So that's the work that we're doing now on every single patient that we treat with till therapy.